health according to who 1948 health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of a disease for maintaining a healthy life cycle a person needs to have a balanced diet needs to exercise live regularly in a proper shelter and get enough sleep personal and community issue both matter for health the health of a person is affected by different factors at personal level as well as community level let's discuss them one by one physical environment factors like light temperature natural disasters etc affect the health of human beings public cleanliness garbage blocking of drainages open and stagnant water etc increase chances of poor health social environment social environment determines our physical environment like our job conditions housing conditions family atmosphere etc social equality and harmony are necessary for good health balanced diet a balanced diet is essential for normal body functioning growth and development economic conditions good economic conditions and good purchasing power increase the chances of good health disease a disease is an abnormal condition in which body is not able to function properly neither the body nor the mind of the patient is at ease diseases are classified into the following categories acute diseases chronic diseases congenital diseases and acquired diseases acquired diseases can be communicable or non-communicable communicable disease further depends upon causative agent for example bacteria virus protozoa worms fungus and mode of transmission contagious and non-contagious non-communicable disease comprise of deficiency degenerative cancerous and allergic diseases non-communicable diseases do not spread from an infected person to a healthy person they are of four types on the basis of their causative agents deficiency degenerative cancerous and allergic deficiency diseases these occur either due to deficiency of some nutrients in diet or hormone for example quashiorkor and dwarfism degenerative diseases these diseases occur due to degeneration of certain body tissue for example cardiovascular diseases and arthritis cancerous diseases these diseases occur due to uncontrolled growth and division of cells in certain body tissues leading to tumor formation allergic diseases these diseases occur due to hypersensitivity of body to certain external agents called allergens for example asthma hay fever etc acute and chronic diseases acute diseases occur very rapidly but last for only a short period like common cold and cough these diseases do not cause major effects on general health and the person becomes well within a week or so whereas chronic diseases last for a long time like tuberculosis elephantiasis cancer diabetes arthritis etc these diseases could be fatal they have prolonged and major effect on general health over the years the differences between acute and chronic diseases are listed in table various modes of transmission of diseases communicable diseases are those diseases which can be transmitted from source of infection or an infected person to the healthy but susceptible person there are two modes of disease transmission direct transmission and indirect transmission direct transmission in this the pathogens are transmitted from an infected person to a healthy person directly without an intermediate agent let us discuss the ways of direct transmission of diseases direct contact direct contact with an infected person can be by handshake mouth to mouth kissing sexual act etc it can cause contagious diseases like chickenpox measles syphilis aids etc droplet infection 
Droplets released through coughing, sneezing and spitting of infected persons can cause diseases like diphtheria, tuberculosis, common cold, etc. These are common in crowded living conditions. Indirect transmission. It is a transmission of pathogens from the reservoir of infection to a healthy person through some intermediate agents. Pathogens of cholera, dysentery, typhoid, etc. are transmitted by agencies like contaminated food, water, etc. The pathogens can also spread through contaminated articles like clothes, crockery, etc. It can be a vector-borne disease. Example, malaria by female Anopheles mosquito, of chikungunya by Aedes mosquito, or cholera by housefly. Other agents of direct transmission are animal bites, example, transmission of rabies virus by rabbit animal or transmission of cysts or tetanus by soil and viruses of AIDS through placenta into fetal blood. Infectious agents. Organisms that can cause diseases are classified in a wide range of categories such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, worms and protozoans. Common examples of diseases caused by viruses are common cold, dengue and AIDS. Common examples of diseases caused by bacteria are typhoid, cholera and tuberculosis. Common examples of diseases caused by fungi are skin infections. Protozoans cause diseases such as malaria and kala azar. Worms cause intestinal infections and elephantiasis. Some common communicable diseases are malaria. Malaria is an infectious disease caused by a parasite, Plasmodium vivex, which infects red blood cells. Life cycle involves two hosts, humans and Anopheles mosquito. The disease is transmitted to humans when an infected Anopheles mosquito bites a healthy person and injects the malaria parasites into the blood. Sporozoids mature in the human liver and infect blood cells. Again, mature sporozoids enter into mosquito through blood sucking. In this way, they spread mature sporozoids. Symptoms of malaria Fever with intense cold Repetition of fever every alternate day Pain in the body Preventive measures Ensuring that there should be no stagnant water in and around the house. Ensuring cleanliness in the surrounding. Using mosquito nets, etc. to avoid mosquito bite. Cholera. Cholera is caused by bacterium vibrio cholera. It is caused by ingestion of food or water contaminated with this bacterium. The symptoms are watery diarrhea that can quickly lead to severe dehydration and death. Symptoms of cholera Acute diarrhea, vomiting, muscular cramps, acute dehydration, etc. Preventive measures Using boiled drinking water, eating fresh food, ensuring cleanliness in the surrounding, vaccination against cholera. AIDS is a viral disease caused by human immune deficiency virus. Transmission of AIDS occurs due to one of the following reasons sexual contact between an infected man and a woman transfusion of infected blood to a needy person in hospital transmission through infected needles in the hospitals transmission from an infected pregnant woman to the fetus symptoms of aids decline in body immune system lowering in the blood platelets count swelling in lymphatic glands Loss of weight, sweating during night hours. Preventive measures, ensuring unused blades, syringes, etc. Getting the HIV tested before blood transfusion. Following self-restraint. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis or TB is an infectious disease caused by a bacteria whose scientific name is Mycobacterium tuberculosis. A person can become infected with tuberculosis bacteria when he or she inhales minute particles of infected sputum from air. 
the bacteria get into the air when someone who has tuberculosis infection coughs, sneezes and shouts. Symptoms of tuberculosis Persistent cough, cold and mild fever Presence of blood in the sputum Pain in the chest Loss of appetite Preventive measures Keeping the TB patient in isolation and avoiding his or her clothes and other belongings. Taking medicines strictly as advised by the doctor. A TB patient should cover his or her mouth while coughing and do not spit indiscreetly. Dengue Dengue is caused by a virus. You can contract it. If an infected mosquito bites you, it is common during rainy season. Symptoms are high fever, headache, joint and muscle pain, vomiting and rashes. Patients take several weeks to recover. Precautions Use insect repellent with DEET. Wear clothes that cover your arms, legs and feet. Keep shut unscreened doors and windows. Maintain a clean environment. Water tanks and containers should be kept covered. Use mosquito nets.